So recently I went to see a film called The Bourne Legacy. It truly lives up to its day as a legacy. And whether it's good or bad legacy, well, that's kind of up to you. The film was directed by Tony Gilroy and starring Jeremy Rayner, who we all know as Hawkeye from uh, Avengers. Also, it's that in Edgar Norton, this is just the one who played the heart. And Rick, it's in Richard Wyson's film, and several characters make a return from the previous trilogy. And Jason Bourne is mentioned and referenced. And now he's going to the film, but not much is done with him. Jason, Jason Bourne was such an integral part of the first the trilogy, and it's just with it, I mean, it uses his name, it's a bit of a, I don't know, a bit of a spoiler for A couple of my, um, I don't know, made a comparison to the first Caribbean trilogy and four, and how it's implied. It's so tricky. And this, I mean, this is all about Trinity and the new board there too. Although where it differs from Pirates of the Caribbean and Trinity and the fourth is it sort of more directly overlaps the events of the third one. Born and Legacy at first, I think, um, kind of did sort of making the money, making the money off the Born name because everyone who likes the Born series will sort of like the style of this film. If you like action films or like films, then it's great. And the chases are just as good as last time. And a lot of the time, the film kind of lacks direction and lacks the main purpose. Even the captain of this one sort of knows who he is and knows what he'll become if he don't get to what he needs, uh, what he'll regress into. And I do like the fact that the universe has been smashed. And by, the, by this famous legacy, it's all, sort of fall out from Bourne and what the investigation turned up afterwards. What was the end It just sort of, you know, sort of was a bit of an anti-climax. So. I enjoyed it, don't get me wrong. I really liked all the action, I liked some of the acting, I liked some of the set pieces, the chase at the end was amazing. Um, some of the stunt work was great. But, I don't know, I can't do it five out of five, it's a puzzle, but I give it like three or four. Ed Norton's character, Eric Brunner, um, National Essay, didn't have a checked out outcome, which Aaron Cross, the main character, um, the main person is a member of. And, but, he's with Steels, he survives. Yeah, so they spent the film kind of looking down and, well, Aaron Cross, such as the camera and uh, the virus. His past and is sort of weakness isn't at its full and there's no right reason for him to be doing what he's doing and it can't be the audience can't care as much because they don't well that they touched upon but they don't really fully understand the sort of gravity of the situation unlike Born which he didn't know who he was and why he was. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Porn Legacy. And if you haven't subscribed already, please hit subscribe and like and put some pretty comments on what, what, in, what did you think of the Born Legacy. Did you think it was a good film? Do you think it was a bit of a disappointment? Have you seen the trilogy beforehand and how it compares to that? And tell me, does the Born Legacy have a future? Is there more films to come? Let me know. Have a great time and thank you for watching.